everything was okay. So I'm gonna set you there. Again, I have bad lighting. I was trying, I have, I told you I have a really nice camera and for whatever reason, it's telling me the, the brand new um, SD card to, to go inside of it. It like, it says that it, it's not working. It can't read it, it can't. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? You're supposed to be smarter than this. So you're like a, you're an expensive camera. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna have to buy a new SD card. But anyways, so I kind of opened this a little bit, but Michelle, I'm so sorry to tell you that this little plate in here did not survive the trip. The little milk glass um, snack plate. So that guy broke. And she had a post-it note. I think it might be on the counter in my in my um, kitchen, but it said that uh, um, I could sell or keep these or do whatever I wanted. But this is what they kind of look like. They're Fire King. These plates right here. The other one was the snack plate that would have went with them had a mug, you know, but it got broken. But. Yeah, these are really cute. I like that. I see this little goodie wrapped up here. Oh my gosh, wait. Ooh, what did you send? She sent little, oh my goodness, like, oh wow, all kinds of little things. Oh wow, I can use these in the journals, the junk journals. I can use these as package toppers. Wow, she sent all kinds of little things packaged up right here. And I love these glassoline, glassoline, glassine <laughs> bags. They're little see-through bags. Um, she's got like little tags and things in here. Oh, that's cute with the TV. All kinds of little things. True story, no lie. Mm. Those are cute. I like those. What else do we have here? Michelle, you didn't have to send me anything, girl. Oh, I remember these. Michael's had these for a little while. And then we got Jenny Bolin. I have some Jenny Bolin inks. My favorite ink, oh gosh, what was it? I think it's called like something milk. It's a yellowy color. It was my favorite color of her. All this crafty stuff makes me want to get my stuff out. Oh, that's cute. This little pocket here, and she's got, are these Tim Holtz things? <gasps> these are freaking cool. Oh my God, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so they look like, like giant playing cards on the back, right? And they're like copies of antique photos. You know, like real people that existed over time. Tim Holtz, he's a designer. He's famous for, um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, in the craft world. He's like, he's a famous dude. He actually started off working at Michael's and they needed someone to teach a card class or something like that. And he's like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And he didn't really know anything about it. And it was doing like stamping and things like that. And eventually he got to go to like their um, craft fair shows at, you know, at, for Michaels and things. And then he got his own line. I mean, it's an amazing story. Um, but this is very much his style. So these are like actual, and he'll, he, he takes ephemera pieces while they're like brand new and you can go buy them at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. Um, they're actual photos that he's taken and you can use in your projects. Um, you know, if you like this kind of thing. So like, here's one here and Michelle, I'm so excited that you sent these because, um, I tried so hard to win, um, Missy in one of her live sales. She had a, 
um, like a class photo that was in a frame, like a real, an actual one. And I didn't win it. I was too slow that day. My fingers were too slow. Um, so, and, and it was funny because a few days before, and I've always wanted a class photo. I would love one of those, like, like a bigger size one, you know? Um, I was on eBay and I won a couple. Oh my gosh, I have to like sit up to, to get this to show me well. Okay. So, um, I won a couple for, you know, I don't know, one was like $4. Nobody bid on it. So, how cool is this that you sent two of these that has the school pictures on there? I love those. And then there's this one. And this one. And this handsome fella. Look at that mustache. These ladies. Oh, well, he's got mustache for days. And this guy right here, I might have had to talk to him if I was back in the day. Look at that. <laughs> And these two look very young. Little married couple. And then we got what looks like some businessmen or something. Maybe a reunion of some sort or maybe military type reunion. But those are really cool. They're made on the back of these like playing looking cards. That is so cool. My favorite so far. I love it. And then she's got like all these little pockets of these little, these little things like this. Oh, Bianca would probably love these. They're so pretty. Bored? How, you, how can you be bored? I was never bored at your age. <laughs> Leave your sister alone. Oh, that's awesome. There's just all these little pictures with like um, text. They're so cute. Okay, let me keep going. <laughs> All these little pockets and stuff. Oh, and girl, I when these came out, these smash books back in the day, I had, um, well, I got like three or four of them actually because back in the day, used to, it used to be really easy to find penny items at Michael's. Oh my gosh. I remember going, I think it was with my sister one time and I probably filled up an entire cart of grocery cart of penny stuff stuff that had been marked down to a penny and they're not supposed to have it out anymore and they did and we I mean I probably saved like five thousand dollars you know whatever the receipt said everything was a penny and I probably spent like I don't know two dollars and I just had carts and like big stuff I mean from small stuff like this to big stuff and that's how I got two smash books and one smash book I should tell you guys it's kind of like a junk journal you just kind of like just put whatever in there you could put like movie tickets pictures I mean anything like maps or receipts anything to sort of remind you of whatever you wanted to remember whatever reason you created that book but um, one of the books I have is of all of Bianca and Gabriel's little art that they would make and they would bring home and I'm like trying to find somewhere to corral and sort of keep it all. So I took it and I glued a bunch of, a bunch of them into one of those um, junk journals, those smash books. So, but these are just little pads that you can like write on or um, tell about whatever you put in the on that page you know so those are awesome and then oh she's got some little cards here oh this one's a vintage one look at that one Oops. not the best lighting I know you guys but like I mentioned in another video I, I've done a couple today the kids are in there doing their work and they hear me poof, they're off task so there's that, that's cute. And then, oh, these are nice. <gasps> Look at the ships. Oh, I love those. Girl. I'm gonna 
be cutting those out. And then these um, like book pages. Uh, look at that like real legit typewriter font. Like not like a typewriter font on a computer. Well, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Who knows? But it's still cool. But all kinds of little papers like that. And then she's got, oh, here's the cup, I think, that went to that snack plate. So this went to the little snack plate. But you know what? That can find a home that can have, like, maybe um, I can cut off. I was telling you guys that I have like a planter collection in one of my other videos um, and I showed some pictures on Instagram but over Mother's Day weekend my husband helped me like replant and move some stuff around and um, so maybe I if you guys want to see that in a video I can help, you know not make a whole video about it but attach it on if you want to see it um, so just comment down below if you'd like to see something like that but um, maybe one of the little clippings that I take off I can put in here you know, and started to get some roots. All right, then we have one thing down here. Oh my goodness, what do we have? Let me read the card real quick. She said, I think she made me a junk journal. Um, and then she wanted to send a lot of old photos that were in a photo album that she got. A lot of them are actually postcards. <gasps> So let's see what's in here. That's cute wrapping paper. Oh, Michelle. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, she, look at that. She used the paper, the tissue paper. That's my favorite tissue paper. And she's got these. I would do this too. I would hang like dangly thingies off the, like uh, I would make little beads and things and hang them off the tops of my thing, off my books. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> look what she put. Hey all you cool cats and kittens. I gotta get a shirt that says that. Hello gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. So she's got this big journal here. And then, so you can take, like, I mean, it would be so hard for me to cover that up. But something and put it in there. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. How cute is this? Look. So those have, they have palm trees. I wonder if there was, um, like back in the day, if I remember correctly, I'd have to pull out my book again. But um, like in the really late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a group of people that were called like tin canners. Um, and they would travel around. Basically, they would be in their cars that were like this. And out the side, they would have like pop out tents or like, like a tent that would pop out their roof and they would just travel around and like basically like RVing today, but they called them tin canners and they did a lot of it in Florida because Florida, we have, you know, like no seasons, so it's easier, but I bet that's what that is. How cool. So she's got both pages with with um, family photos. Oh my gosh. And look. Oh, so cool. Look, she took St. Petersburg, Florida. She took a little um, a thing from a envelope, which is my hometown. Yep. Look, she did home and she put that there. Oh my gosh. On the other side, she has a little wooden tag. It says, hey girl, hey. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, here's the other side. And she's got all these beads. Goodness. I mean, she's got little tags 
and she's got little cutouts from like um, magazines and she's got oh those are cute like old papers like um, you know like the funny bits of the paper oh my gosh <laughs> she wrote children of the corn and that's so funny that you have that sense of humor um, because that's what my husband when he'll when he calls the kids like you know if he's like making them dinner or something he's like children of the corn and speaking of that he just texts me um, but that's what he calls them lovingly so oh my gosh I love that look at the old homes so only imagine what's there right now and if it's like a regular home that sat wherever this is I'd be like, I need to metal detect your property. Please and thank you. Oh my goodness. She got, she's got ships in here. She's got all these, like this was in a pocket, like these little bits of ephemera. Oh, she made a tag out of the card. Shine bright like a diamond. So cute. Oh my gosh, she's just, I mean, <laughs> I see what you put a smile beside on there. I'll probably, I probably can't show that, but that was funny. <laughs> um, hold on, I'm trying to get it back in this little pocket she made. How cute. Okay, so here's this page. She's got ships and she's got more of the tissue paper my favorite tissue paper up there oh my gosh I love that you did these photos in here now I can I'll never change it I'll just have to leave oh here's this one too I'll have to leave it oh my gosh I just love it all the little details I've been collecting more um, little bits and pieces for you. Look at these. Look at that handsome fella. Is that the same guy? I don't know. And then we got these here. And she's got these in a little pocket to the side. And then he's on some really big machine. Um, it's kind of cut off, but it looks like it says, Jim took this with my camera, and it's not very good. Something about 30 seconds time. It's all cut off. I was seeing if it said something about the name of the machine. It's cut off. And then we got Jerry and Rena. So back in the day when they took these pictures, they could have them as postcards to send to people. Kind of like a two for one, you know? Saying hello um, while sending a family photo. And now someone's gonna do lawn work. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, she's got another little pocket here. And she put a star next to the um, board ship and it shows its um, definition. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, so then she's got this here. And she made a little tag from a little vintage owl. Another little tag there. And she's got all the vintage like little fabrics and she's got some washi tape. That's cute. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. That is cool. Wow. I like that. It's a postcard. It's an antique postcard. And it says like, oh my gosh, you really going to mow your lawn dog? It says, I'm almost done. It says good and evil. Copyright 1924. And then look, this is like a, um, um, what did they call this? They didn't, it wasn't like a phone book. I mean, I know that. Come on now. I'm not that. I guess. 
<laughs> um, huh? I'm okay. I forget what it was called. Uh, I have between my fan and this guy mowing his lawn. <laughs> I'm sorry. And then here's the last page, the last two pages. So she has this pocket with all these things tucked in there. And come on, man, you're messing up my vibe. So she's got this picture here and it's written on the back, their names, and then they're numbered. So like number one says her name is Edith, it looks like it, and then Beatrice, Wilma, Doris, Rebecca with two Ks, Patty, Helen, and Miss Weasley. And she's got little bits of ephemera cut out. Oh, that's cute. Complaints to the cook can be hazardous to your health. Isn't that the truth? She's got all these little bits and pieces that you can use, you know, in your, um, in your books. I'll definitely be, um, it's, you know, you can almost collect these, the junk journals, I'm telling you. Like you can, because it's like um, works of art from everyone. And a lot of people use like actual vintage things. Um, so it's like, you can collect them. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So lots of little scraps of paper that you can use. And I was gonna use one um, to start putting like, like little cards and little notes and things in that people send me. So that is it, and she stamped her name, Michelle, with one L <laughs> on the back. Thank you so much. You're amazing. You guys, it's that's so thoughtful. All these photos, I mean, I could just have it up like this if I had a, maybe my little stand. It might be too little, but I could have it out like that. That would be so cool. I really appreciate you making this for me. I love it. And the fact that you put like the maps and a little seashell bracelet. Oh my goodness. I just love it. You did so good. And to share all these photos with me. I really love it. Thank you so much, Michelle. If you guys don't know who she is, go over and check her out. She's newer to YouTube. She does like crafty things. She does, um, once in a while she'll do like haul videos. Um, she loves, she has some wicked collections. Like um, she'll do home decor stuff and she'll show you like all of her vintage collections for like Christmas and Easter and things like that. Um, Valentine's Day, she had some really cool stuff out for that. So you guys go over and check her out. She's Michelle Comfy Cozy Living here on YouTube. Um, so yeah, this is exciting. I'm sorry your plate broke. Um, it's in like a bunch of tiny pieces. It's nothing I can really glue back together. I wish I had some magic and I knew how to like melt glass and make beautiful things, but I don't. So anyway, thank you so much, Michelle. I hope you can hear me over the lawnmower. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.